Policy has to be a really tough job, but at the end of the day, you're doing it for the people. And sometimes you have to engage with us to really know um, how we perceive these policies, how they're gonna affect us, because it has to be human-centered. And at the end of the day, uh, all of the hard work has to have a point. It has to have a useful uh, purpose. We live because we have food, because we need food to survive. So I think it's one of those elemental things that every one of us needs. And, but the way we are producing food at the moment is not really sustainable. And we need to yeah, rebuild the whole system, how we are producing food, but also how we are consuming food. So that's why I really, yeah, for me, it matters how the effect that food is, is having on, on the environment, but also on our health. We often talk about food system leaders as if change only happens with one person. But in reality, what we need is a big group of young people and a big group of, of allies as well to be able to get to that uh, change that we want to see, to that transformation that we want to see. And so creating uh, policies that can enable young people, that really put young people at the forefront is key if we're serious about wanting them to be attracted to work in the agri-food sector, to stay there, to receive the compensation that is necessary for them to want to be uh, stay there, and also to be part of the decision-making process as well as the implementation process, so that there's a sense of ownership for the changes that are to come. For me, the future of food is important because we need a future of food. We need a future for the people that's living now, the people that's going to live now in, in this planet. We need to ensure that this growing population have something to bring to their mouth, to, to have like nutritious food, secure and safe food to keep on going, keep on growing, keep on living. So we really need a future of food for the future of our planet.